if I had never made a friend on a cruise ship, never saved any money working on a cruise ship, even if everything else was awful about working on a cruise ship. Hey sailors, welcome back to Cruising as Crew. My name is Lucy and today we're gonna to be discussing the 10 things that I loved most about working on board cruise ships. But before we start, please press like and subscribe for more cruise ship content. And if you have any video suggestions or questions, you can leave them in the comments down below or DM me over on Instagram at Cruising as Crew. So the first thing that I absolutely loved about working on cruise ships is that I have met people from all over the world. Because typically on a cruise ship, there will be up to 50 nationalities on board. So these are people that I would never have had the opportunity to meet in normal life. And the really great thing about this is if you are someone who wants to work on a cruise ship, then the likelihood is that you are someone who likes to travel. So meeting people from all over the world, you have someone in every country. Like there's not many places now where I would go and not know someone. And I'm not saying that in a braggy way, I'm just, it's just amazing. Like wherever I go in the world, I'm gonna have someone to call up. Like when me and my friend went backpacking around Southeast Asia, I called my friend Ryan who lives in Kuala Lumpur and we met up. And it's just amazing to know that you have people everywhere. So this is definitely one of my favorite things about working on cruise ships. But what I will say, if you are watching this and you are going to work on cruise ships, this doesn't just happen. I mean, like any relationship, you have to put in some effort. And it can be really tempting to befriend the people who are from the same country as you. It's really easy for me to just hang out with English people because it's comfortable. We have the same sense of humor most of the time. We like the same things, we get the same jokes. And also it's really easy to just kind of stick with people in your department. But I really urge you to diversify your friendship group, you know? Make friends with different departments, make friends with people who are from different countries to you because it will enrich your life beyond belief. So don't go for the easy option and stick to your department and stick to your countrymen. Make sure you push yourself even further than you already have and you talk to everyone. Because that way, even after just one contract, wherever you go in the world, you will probably know someone. Number two, you don't have to cook. After you have had a really long day at work, you then have like an hour commute to come home, then you have to make yourself tea or maybe make your family dinner. And that can sometimes be the best part of your evening spent cooking dinner and eating dinner. But what I really like about working on the cruise ship is it's all there for you. You don't have to do anything. You are either gonna go to the mess or one of the passenger restaurants if you have some time off work in the evening and your dinner is going to be prepared for you. Now granted, this is dangerous because you can literally have as much as you want, but the point is you don't have to spend any of your time thinking about what you're gonna cook for dinner, making it, you just have to eat it and then you can spend the rest of your evening doing whatever you want. The third thing I really appreciate about working on board a cruise ship is that you can save so much money. Now I've said in previous videos that your salary can actually be very similar to a salary that you could earn back home. That is if you are from a more developed country. But the difference is on board a cruise ship, you don't have to pay for anything. So you don't have to pay for the commute to work, petrol. You don't have to pay for a car. You don't have to pay for rent. You don't have to pay for any food. It is all provided for you and also I don't know about any other country but in England you will not have to pay tax if you are outside of the UK for 182 days or more so half the year six months then you are exempt from tax so once again you still have to go through all the taxing process but that is a whole other video. But the point is, you actually don't have to pay any tax. That's a lot of money that you can save right there because the majority of a person's paycheck will go on all of those things I just mentioned. So the fact that I don't have to pay any of that when I'm on board, that's, that's great. That's a lot of money that can go into my savings account. Number four is you can completely reinvent yourself when you go on a cruise ship. Nobody knows who you are. They don't know where you come from. They don't know if you're nice, if you're nasty, if you're rich, if you're poor, if you're funny, if you're not. <laughs> and especially if you're someone like myself who is from a small town where everyone knows everyone, it can be really difficult when you try something different. Everyone has an opinion. So to be able to go on a cruise ship and just be 
who you want to be and no one is going to judge, no one is even going to bat an eyelid because they don't know who you were before so they've got nothing to compare it to. But the point is when you go on board a cruise ship you leave all of that baggage at home and it is terrifying, it's scary but it is also beautiful. The fact that you are free to be completely yourself without other people's opinions. The fifth thing that I love about working on cruise ships is the ability to see a shed load of places that I otherwise would not have been able to see. If I had not worked on cruise ships, I would have not been to Alaska, Bora Bora, New Zealand, Fiji, Hawaii, Australia. One, because I wouldn't have been able to afford to do all of those trips. Maybe one, maybe I could have afforded to go to Alaska, but if I'd have gone to Alaska, I would have not been able to afford to go to all the other places. And two, I wouldn't have had the time to be able to afford to do those things. You have to have a full-time job on land. And I would have not been able to book that much time off to go and see all of those places. So even if I had never made a friend on a cruise ship, never saved any money working on a cruise ship, even if everything else was awful about working on a cruise ship. It isn't by the way, but the fact that I have been able to see so much of the world for free is mind-blowing and that in itself is a reason to get yourself on board a cruise ship. But luckily for me, it isn't only the traveling that is the most amazing part about working on cruise ships. It is by far the relationships that you make. Because you are away from home and you are in such an intense environment, you're all working long hours, it's very much a work hard, play hard kind of environment, you build some of the strongest relationships that you will ever make. I have known people for two months and I feel like I've known them for two years. Especially if you end up being their cabin mate, you know, you don't know anyone until you live with them and if you live with them in a cabin, then um, yeah. And some of my best friends are people that I have worked with on board cruise ships. And going back to the first one, they are people from all over the world who I never would have met and I cannot imagine my life without those people in it. So yes, I'm grateful for the traveling, but I do think the number one thing that I am grateful for is the relationships that I have been able to build. The seventh thing that I am grateful for about working on cruise ships is pushing myself. Being on a cruise ship, you learn to do things that you never ever thought you could do. If you'd have said to me, one day you are gonna do seminars for up to 50 people, I would have laughed in your face, honestly. like absolutely not. And you're going to do them well and confidently. You're going to be able to drive a tender boat. You're going to be able to put out a fire. Like there's so many things that I have learnt to do and fears that I have overcome while working on cruise ships. And in other videos I have said that when I first got on cruise ships I had like low self-esteem and I was a people pleaser. I really think the reason that I have grown as a person is because well, exactly that. Working on cruise ships has pushed me to grow. I've had to overcome fear after fear after fear. And yes, it's scary, but it makes you believe in yourself. And I think that's a really crucial part to being happy because self-esteem is exactly that. It's self-esteem. You have to love yourself and believe in yourself. And how are you gonna do that if you never prove anything to yourself. So it's not about proving anything to anybody else. It's about proving to yourself that you can do certain things, that you can do a seminar, that you can put out a fire, that actually you're a very capable person. So for me, working on cruise ships has pushed me out of my comfort zone, which in turn has helped me build my self-esteem and become a confident person. The eighth thing is gonna have to be the crew parties. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We all love a good dance, we all love to let loose. And although there's not really much drama, nothing too crazy happens at these crew parties, but I think because everyone goes to this one venue and we all just dance like there's no tomorrow and just have a laugh. We've probably all just worked like a 12, 14 hour shift and we want to let loose, we want to have a bit of fun, we want to have a laugh and I think because we all want the same things, they're just the best nights. They really are just 
incredible. The ninth thing I love about working on cruise ships, and if you are watching this and you work on cruise ships, or maybe you just work away from home, you will understand this. It's the fact that home is a holiday. So for the majority of people who live in one place and they commute to work, you tend to want to have an annual holiday to get away from home because home is where reality is. Home is where, you know, the long days at work are, the stresses. So you want to go to the Caribbean to get away from that. However, for me, being away is work. That is where the stress is. It's where the good stuff is as well. But that's the thing that I need to escape from at the end of six months. So being able to come home and that being my vacation is really lovely because I'm able to appreciate home so much more because I don't have all the stress and all, all the shit that comes with reality of, you know, having a job and having a family and all of that. But by going away for a long period of time and missing home, you know, distance makes the heart grow fonder. I am so ready to come home at the end of that six months. I'm so excited to see everyone. I'm able to just really take it in and really appreciate it. And the 10th one is going to be, you are constantly learning. And I know this is similar to, you know, pushing yourself outside your comfort zone. There's that, and obviously you're learning from that, but just learning from people that you are surrounded by. You know, you're learning about different cultures, different languages, about human psychology, just learning about humans because you're able to interact with so many from different places and everyone is so different but we're all also really similar we all want the same things we all want a comfortable life for our family we all want health and happiness and that is the bottom line that's what we all want no matter if you're from india china england australia that is the bottom line and everything else is just fluff and because you realize that everyone just wants the same thing it makes you so much more open-minded to everything to religions to cultures to people's point of views and I honestly believe it just makes you a better person I'm not saying I'm the best person at all but I'm definitely a better person than I was before I worked on cruise ships but that is it guys, so I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please press the like button and the subscribe button because it really helps me out with the algorithm. And also if you have any video suggestions or questions, you can leave them in the comments down below or DM me over on Instagram at Cruising as Crew. But thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye.